Hello everyone, it's Brother Poole. I'm one of the instructors that teach B250 online. And I wanted to create a new video really quick that talks about how to set up a Google AdWords account the right way because there's a lot of ways to do it wrong. And I need to show you the right way to do it because I want you to be able to set it up without having to put in your credit card information right now or debit card or bank information or even create a, a campaign right now. Also, I'm going to show you really briefly, they just within the last 30 days, uh, so last month in August of 2016, Google AdWords changed the way, Google changed the way that the Keyword Planner tool works, which is what you're going to use extensively. So I want to give you a quick update how to still use what you need to do and find the right information. Okay, so what we're going to do initially is we're going to set up an account. Now you got to start by creating a Gmail account. If you don't have one, you can go to Gmail, create an account, and we're just going to come up and create a test account. So I'm going to say uh, Sammy Ferret. I love ferrets. And Sammy was my first ferret. All right, my username, I'm just going to say is Sammy2000. One, so two zero 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 one. I gotta try to remember that. Oh, it's taken. How about two zero 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 one one one? How about that one? That one's taken. How about two zero 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 one 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 three three three? Ha! Finally found one. Now I've got to write that one down because I will not remember it. So <laughs> let me write it down really quick. So it's two zero 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 one 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 three three three. Okay. Create a password here. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, put in a, a a birthday. Okay. Um, phone number, my current email address. Let's just do another one that I don't you don't read. J -B -J -B. I'm trying to think which one it is. I think it's this one. All right? No, that doesn't seem right. I don't remember what I did. Uh, let's just do this one. This is a junk one I don't use. So don't email me there. I'll never see it. All right. So I click next step. Come up here. All right. Scroll down. Click I agree. This is a little bit different. So I haven't done this. So it may be I'm, I'm kind of watching this myself. Okay. So now I can continue. It says welcome Sammy. So it's created. Click continue to Gmail. All right. Uh, just close this. And I am now in Gmail. So now what I'm going to do is now I want to create a AdWords account. So for this one, so I'm going to just create a new one. I'm just going to go to Google and say Google AdWords. All right, come down here and click on Start Now. Now, this is very very important. Okay. Don't just start filling stuff out because it's taking you through a way I do not want you to go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you say this, see the skip the guided setup. Click that. Click skip the guided setup. Do not enter in your website, any of this stuff. We don't know what your website is for most of you, so which is fine. So you're going to click skip the guided setup. All right, now it's going to say set up the account. Okay, this is very important. Whatever you enter here is the way it's going to be. So if you're if you're in a country, to make sure that you put your time zone and what your currency is. So almost all currencies are in here. So make sure because that is once you put it in here, you cannot change this on your account. So I'm in Mountain Time, and my currency is the U.S. dollar. So this is correct. You cannot go back and change it ever. For your that email address so whatever you use you have to put in there click save and close it's thinking it's taking its own time here 
Let's see. All right. So now I'm into Google AdWords. Once you find yourself on this page, you're going to come up and you're going to click on Tools and click on Keyword Planner. Now, as of August of 2016, Google changed this. So this is very important that you understand how to do this because you're going to need to do this multiple times. And you're going to need this information in order to do the assignment, the second assignment this week in, in uh, Lesson 02. So you've got to go and you've got to do some searches, let's say for snowboards or chess or whatever it is. We're going to, to figure that out and to find keywords for it, you're going to select this first one, search by new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Okay, you're going to come down here, make sure this country is set correctly. So if you're in Canada and you're going to be selling to Canada, come down here and type in Canada and select Canada. So now you've got Canada, and then click here to remove the United States or whatever's there. In this case, I'm going to remove Canada because I'm in the United States, and I'm only going to sell to the United States, so that's what I'm interested in. Don't worry if you're going to sell in just a very small part of the United States. For right now, just put United States to get these numbers. We're going to come up here, and you're going to type up there snowboard, chess, whatever it is you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to just start by typing in drums. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but what keywords to use, but I want to sell drums. That's what I want to be doing, so I'm going to click Get Ideas. Now, Google's changed this last month, so they no longer show you the correct average monthly searches. This is saying there's a, anywhere from 100,000 to a million searches a month on drums. Now, we know that's not the case. Um, but they're not going to show me the right numbers here, but that's okay because there's a way to do that. So I'm going to add drum to my plan. You have to add these keywords to your plan now. So I want drum to my plan. And you'll see now it adds drums over here. So there's a little one there because that means there's one keyword in there. Well, let's say I want five keywords. Now, in your assignments, it's going to be a lot more than that. But in this case, let's say five keywords. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to search. I'm going to sort this by every month, average monthly searches. So that shows me kind of where the traffic is. And that now I don't sell music and I don't sell guitars. I do sell a snare drum, so we'll add that one. Um, I do sell, let's see, I want to sell steel drums, so we're gonna add that one. I sell I sell a drum set, so let's do drum set. I do definitely sell kids' drums, and I sell symbols, so I'm gonna do symbols. Right, so now it shows I've got six keywords in there, and I'm gonna click on review plan. Okay, now this is different than the way it used to be. It used to be that you could see the searches, the keyword, the competition, everything right here, but you cannot do that anymore for this these assignments. So once you've added the keywords you want to your plan, you have to click Review Plan. Okay, that's going to come up and show you this page. Next thing you have to do is you have to come up here where it says Enter a Bid. For this case, we're just going to put in $1. So hit 1 and click Get Detailed Forecasts. All right. As soon as you do that, numbers will show up down here. The next thing you need to do is come up here where it says Add Group and Keyword. Click on Keyword. Okay, that's going to check it to Keyword. Now, suddenly, I can see all of my items right here. Now, here's the weird thing is you can't do this part from here. Now, what I've got to do is I've got to come up here where it says Back to Search. you got to click Back to Search. Okay. But now that you've gone here, you've put in your bid, so it now it shows bid and daily numbers. Once you've done all of that, now you're going to come up over here to this little down arrow that says download plan. You're going to click on that. Okay, now it's going to come in. You want to make sure that historical statistics is checked and traffic forecast is checked. It should be by default. And you're going to click download. Now you're going to click Save File or whatever you need to do in your browser. And then I'm going to open it with Excel and we're going to take a look at it. Now in this case, what I can do is I can hit just Control A twice to select everything. And I'm going to come up on this line. I'm going to just double click. By doing that, it's auto, auto uh, caused all these columns we set to the width, auto width on all of them. 
Now, let me show you the keyword, the columns you're interested in now. And I, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. I'm going to highlight keywords. So you need to know that column. You're going to ignore this monthly searches column. What you need to know is competition column. And you need to come over here and you need this estimated impressions column. All right. So those are the three columns you need for assignment, the second assignment this week, because it's going to ask you for keywords. It's going to ask you what is the competition level and how many searches. Okay, this here is actually the estimated impressions. That means about how many times would your ad be seen if you were to bid a dollar? Okay, once you do that, those are the numbers you're going to actually use for your assignment. Not these that show a million or 10 million. There's not 100 million or 100,000 to a million for that. There's actually 372.48 impressions. Of, um, I believe that's a day. Let me double check real quick because if we come back here, that says 372 impressions for drum. So let's come back over here. No, not there. Let's come to this one. And we're going to come back over to review plan. For drums, it's showing approximately 386. So yes, and these are daily, uh, daily budgets, daily forecasts. So daily is approximately how many I'm going to get a day. Or this is a month, but even if I did that, I'm just going to come here. You don't have to. And I'm just going to say take that number and times it by 30. 30. Uh, it's going to show 11,000. Oh, 11,174 uh, impressions or searches for this a month. And here it's showing me 100,000 to a million. So you cannot use these numbers anymore. Um, and these numbers will actually become accurate once you've started spending a bunch of money with Google. But unless you spend a ton of money with Google, they're not going to show you the actual numbers there anymore. So you have to go through this whole way to find it. Okay, so you're going to end up with your keywords, and we can come and look at it this way. So for drum, my competition is 0.53, and the estimated impressions or searches is 372. Now, let me explain competition. A, anything close to a 1 is high competition. Anything close to a 0 is no competition. And so what you're looking at, is a 0.3 the way i look at it is probably anything from about a 0.33 and below is low anything from a 0.34 to 0.66 would be medium and then 0.67 and above would be high so if we look at that that one here that one would be medium a 97 would be high, 98 would be high, 90, 83 would be high. Uh, a 1, of course, that's the perfect high number. You can't get any higher than that. And then a 0.3, that's going to be low. So if I was doing mine and I wanted to know what my competition was, this one's medium, that would be high, 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 and low. That's how you do that for the assignment number 2. Now, as you go on, you're going to need to know things like, well, what is the cost? What can I expect to spend if I were to bid a dollar a day? Well, you can find that here now and what your click-through rate. You'll learn more about what everything else means here as we continue on. But for this assignment, what you need to know is you need to know keyword, you need to know competition, and you need to know impressions. That's what you must know to do this assignment, assignment the second assignment for this week. Um, and you'll need to know that multiple times moving forward. So it's a little harder to do, but this is how you're going to do it. Very, very important that you know that. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this will be a great semester. Have a great day. Bye.